What's up, Savvy Expats? My name is Julio, and I'm going to give you my thoughts of living in Money Fashion Global City after living here for two years. Let's get into it. Bonifacio Global City is a city very unique compared to the rest of the Philippines. It's a first-class metropolis where most foreigners live in. I've lived here for almost two years already, and in my opinion, BGC is fantastic in almost every aspect. Like for example, the convenience. The convenience is something very important when it comes into moving to a city. And Bonifacio Global City has that trait. It's a 15-minute walk going to every place. You have plenty of transportation services as well, from the BGC bus, taxis around every area of the city, rental bikes and electric scooters, and ride-hailing apps like Grab. All your necessities are fulfilled here. You have the best hospital in the Philippines, St. Luke's Medical Center, and you can find any kind of store here, whether it be an electric department store, warehouse grocery store, local stores, bookstores, and clothing stores, literally around every corner. And if you have a necessity within late night, 7-Eleven and Uncle John's are around every block. Plus, BGC has a heck ton of entertainment areas, clubs, cinemas, parks, and much more. BGC is also a very pet-friendly city, so you can take your furry fellows, take them out, enjoy your time with them, and well, yeah, it's going to be nice. There are open parks and areas dedicated just for your furry friends. Another thing I could mention is that BGC has an abundance of restaurants, international flavors from American restaurants like Texas Roadhouse and TGI Fridays, Indian restaurants like Bollywood and Kashmir, Japanese restaurants like Kokuchibanya and Marugame Udon, Korean restaurants like Soban and with a bunch of Samgyup Sals, and many others with flavors from around the world. You can find these restaurants and stores in the many shopping malls BGC has, like Uptown Mall, Market Market, SM Aura, Juan Bonifacio, Mitsukoshi, and 8 Forbes Town Mall. One last thing I want to mention also about BGC, a convenience part, is that it has a special water filtering system. For you savvy expats, you might think it as not a big deal, but in the Philippines, for the local Filipinos here, and it is. Manila is the only place in the Philippines where you can drink water from the tap. And well, BGC has that benefit. All of these conveniences and amenities are widely available in BGC. That concludes that BGC has certainly made my life much easier, especially after moving from Maracay, my hometown in Venezuela. The next aspect I want to emphasize is that the dating scene here in BGC is different in the Philippines. Why? Because usually, unlike the provinces of the Philippines, women here, although they still hold the traditional values, they have adapted more to the Western culture than those in the provinces. After all, BGC is literally like the US if you come to think about it. They speak better English and they have more of a business mindset. Now, I don't want to offend anybody, but that's just what I've noticed about the women here in BGC. They can relate to Western jokes. They are more extroverted and open-minded. Like, I mean, they just relate more from people from the West. And that's not to say that women who live in the province live under a rock. I'm not insinuating that whatsoever. My point being, women from BGC can relate far more with Westerners. This means conversations are held with ease, jokes are more understood, and the standard of life is familiar to them. Switching gears, like in every other country, the women here in the Philippines, like the best quality women, is, uh, can be found in churches, cafes, libraries, and parks. I've met both of my exes inside the church and inside the coffee shop. That is, if you want to have more of a quality relationship, but if you want to have more of an exotic experience, well, there are plenty of clubs and bars where you can go to and get your groove on. That is, if you have W rays. If you want to know more about places to go to in BGC, check out our all-in-one guide of Bonifacio Global City. We've got you covered for all of questions and doubts, like where to move, what to avoid, is this the right city for you? Link is down below in the description, or you can visit our official website at thesavvyexpat.com. Now, Savvy Expats, in my experience, I was shocked when I saw how expensive it is to live in BGC. Like, I thought the Philippines was a super cheap place. That includes BGC, right? I thought that uh, living in the Philippines is like $500 per month and that's it. But no, it isn't that way. While the rest of the Philippines is 
cheap, like still cheap, but overall, VGC is much more expensive. Let me give you an example of the living expenses in my case. So let's start. For rent, it's 50,000 pesos. For groceries, it's 25,000 pesos. For eating out, it's 20,000 pesos. For transportation, it's between 6,000 pesos or 12,000 pesos. For entertainment and leisure, it's 12,000 pesos. For miscellaneous expenses, it's between 8,000 pesos to 12,000 pesos. And now that may seem pricey, and it is compared to the rest of the Philippines. But if you compare it to the rest of the US, it's much more cheaper overall. Like how Evan said, Evan said that living in Chicago with his family, it costs $10,000. In BGC, me living with my family of four, it's just $2,000. So you can get an idea of like the differences of prices. If you want to know more about my expenses, check out my living expenses video down below in the description box. There's living in Bonifacio Global City, although it's a beautiful city and probably the most advanced one in my opinion, there are many times I get bored of it. Why? Well, because it's, it's just too perfect. After living here for two years, life is so peaceful and so convenient that it just gives you a sense of lack of character. Since everything is nearby, you get to know the place easy and quite quick. So usually you will feel like you want to travel around the Philippines. Places, uh, probably going to Makati, Batangas, Quezon City, Pampanga, or even Palawan and many other cities as well. Now, here are some things that I've noticed about Bonifacio Global City. I've noticed that in Bonifacio Global City, there's no blackouts whatsoever. There are frequently blackouts within the provinces or other cities. Whenever a tropical storm or a typhoon passes by the Philippine country, there are often blackouts within the provinces or in other areas. I've noticed that there are no floods within the city. When it rains hard, there's no flood because BGC has a special system where it contains all the water and not be affected by climate change. I've noticed that in BGC, obviously, there's no garbage in the streets and it's always like clean and in order. I've noticed that in the convenience part of the city, BGC has free public Wi-Fi spots almost everywhere you go to. You just have to put in your phone number when connecting to that Wi-Fi and well, you're connected. I've also noticed that there's literally little to no crime whatsoever. It's practically like the safety city of the Philippines, in my opinion. I've noticed that unlike other places in the Philippines, almost everywhere in BGC has a digital payment option. I've noticed that since there's a lot of greenery in BGC, a lot of trees and grass, the air quality here is much better. In the end, after explaining to you Savvy Expat all of this, BGC, even though it's not the most perfect city, it's a place where you can enjoy life, spend time with your friends and families, and well, feel fulfilled with all of your needs. So that's it Savvy Expats, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one. God bless.